I woke up. I'm gonna just bring my. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jennifer, aka Curious Kirby. So for today's video, I want to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a Dollar Tree haul, but. I didn't want to do it like in the conventional way. I kind of wanted to combine the whole my boyfriend does my makeup or whatever and Dollar Tree haul. So since my husband was gone all day today uh, repainting my old apartment or whatever so we could get our deposit packed, I decided since I wasn't going to be able to make it to Dollar Tree by the time they closed, I sent my husband and one of his co-workers. So... <laughs> These two guys, I felt so bad because they did not know what they were looking at. I don't even know. I kind of peed in the bag. And I'm not sure they even got me what I needed for like a full face of makeup. So we'll see. We'll see how bad this is. I do, I am going to cheat. I am going to say right away that I do have my own set of brushes ready. They're not like the best brushes. So... I picked like my most basic set of brushes and I was like okay we'll do that if this doesn't work so all right so here's my dollar store bag I'm not sure how many items my husband got me so we're just gonna count them out I didn't open anything oh Jesus will cheat as far as primer if my husband didn't get me any primer oh good I see a brush um because I have really sensitive skin so like I already break out and have so much going on the oily the discoloration I'm just not trying to make it worse so I would I don't see any primer so I'm gonna prime my face but I'm gonna I do see only <laughs> one brush I mean for a wet and wild brush, I guess this isn't so bad, I guess. All right. All right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got 12 things. So we're just going to call this a mini haul because that, that's what we got. So, all right. I am going to prime my face and then we'll just, we'll do this in steps because that's, all I got right now so in this so far while I prime my face I guess I'll talk about what I'm seeing here okay so I'm seeing a lot of LA color which is like usually what I see in Dollar Tree so yeah I'm seeing a lot of LA color I think I got a few wet and wild I don't know what color mate color mates is but that's what we're mainly getting. So I just use my own primer because my husband, God bless his soul, doesn't know what primer is. But this is what I use. I use the, ooh, my ring light is making this super bad. The Master Prime by Maybelline. I use a lot of products by Maybelline um, because I have hypoallergenic skin and it just has worked well for me. So, all right. I also have, I'm equipped with baby wipes because I'm going to mess up or get messy in general because I always do when I do my makeup, so I'm just going to get that already. All right. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. All right, so let's start with foundation. Liquid, because I'm so scared of this. I don't. I don't know what shade is this in is there a shade on here true beige okay if you can see that I am gonna turn Ooh. Turn. okay I have to turn down my ring light but if you can see this there you go that's what it looks like the LA color all right Okay. I hate opening these because I never open them right. Like, I really don't. Okay, and because I am 
not sophisticated whatsoever. I used to use a beauty blender. I'm just going to say that right now. But I just, I don't anymore. And I really couldn't tell you why. This package is literally like, <sighs> I like want to stab it. it was, oh, there we go. Got to twist it a little bit, I guess. But no, I used to use beauty blenders, but I've just, I don't know why I've always just been more of a brush person. I really am struggling over here, guys. Like, just, it's hurting. All right. So this is what the little component looks like. I mean, really basic. All right, where is my brush? So this is my brush. As you can tell, it is dirty because I'm an animal I'm a savage so like and not in a good way <laughs> so oh this makes me so nervous oh I definitely put too much on there we're just gonna do, do. I feel like this is gonna do horrid things to my skin I can already feel it whatever close enough kind of got that on my eyebrow I'm just gonna cheat and use my mirror over here because if I do it in the camera it just I feel like it's habit because for like snapchat and stuff or like in the morning I don't know I was just so used to doing my makeup in like the car or just like on the go or as a mom you're just like doing it in your phone as you're trying to like feed your kid goldfish crackers and like rock a baby with your foot and you're just it's going down like that so I just feel like I'm always looking which way, but whatever. I feel this actually doesn't smell too bad. It just smells a lot like sunscreen. So I'm like assuming. Oops. Okay, so it smells like sunscreen, but doesn't necessarily say if it has sunscreen in it. I don't know. It doesn't feel too bad. Like, I'm not even going to lie. It doesn't be like toxic or like burning or anything maybe I just haven't gotten to that part I'm just gonna I'm one of those people where I like I love 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 a super matte look with my makeup I use so much foundation and I don't know if it's just because it's really cheap foundation probably that because I don't think I use even <laughs> close to this much of my own foundation okay I feel like my brush is just drenched like it has soaked up so much product like this thing looks crazy okay yeah I do not like what this did to my brush it just looks weird all right so since I don't see concealer this is one of those times that I'm going to substitute with one of my handy dandy Maybelline products as you see. This is one of my like, yeah, this is my favorite concealer. So. I usually like I know some people use their same foundation brush for their concealer or use a beauty blender I use just a smaller foundation brush 
I like honestly like when I first started doing my makeup I like didn't use concealer at all I really didn't like understand if it really benefited that much so I actually didn't start using concealer till probably like two years ago a year year and a half ago I honestly changed my life I absolutely love and die for concealer it actually doesn't look that horrible okay <laughs> So thankfully, we do have pressed powder. I look crazy right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Are these packages just like curvy proof? Because I am obviously not nailing this whatsoever. So this is what the powder looks like. Color me. I mean, press powder. All right, let's try this. First goal, it did not feel like it was doing anything for me. I don't know. So, we're just going to skip the brows for right now. Oh. I don't know why I really, I kind of actually really like this right now. Okay, moving on. Ooh, we do have a contour kit. So, we're going to try this out. And this is in the color medium. These packages aren't meant for me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Since I don't contour very often, I am going to, I'm going to dip into this, but I'm going to kind of, ooh, there's a lot of fallout. All right. I'm going to kind of dip back and forth because I don't want it to be too, all right. one to wear eyeshadow but I will do it for you guys and probably between these two I'm probably feeling this little this little number right here this guy looks good all right hopefully this package doesn't beat my butt Okay, so this palette, the six color eyeshadow is called Night Out. Well, it is Night Out, so, you know. Which, by the way, guys, I'm so sorry that I'm filming so late. I was supposed to get a video up today because I try to upload and have videos up for you guys every Sunday. And just with the whole apartment thing, it's been crazy. But hopefully this week I will get another video up either tomorrow or by Wednesday I'll have another video up so you guys get a two for one this week since okay guys so now that we have this little palette open this is what it looks like see if you can see that okay this is the back so this is the night out palette by LA colors 
I'm gonna start with this shade, this like bone off whitish shade to get myself a base. So I'm gonna go in with this small brush and oof, there is so much fallout with this. So because I feel really naked without it, I'm going to put a little bit of blush on and just... So I'm going to use the Romantic Rose by Milani, if you guys can see that. This has been my all-time favorite for about like two years now, and I've just... I always use Milani, or the other one is Physician's Formula, that's what I'm using for my highlighter. I just feel very naked without blush. But yeah guys, that is it for my video. If you'd like to see more videos like this or have any video ideas, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram. I'm Curious Kirby, and I'll see you guys next time. I just wanted to come at you guys this morning with a little bit of an update. So I woke up this morning feeling rough. Um... Literally after I did my makeup for this video, I took it off like right away or whatever because I don't trust products that I'm not familiar with like that. So I woke up. I'm going to just bring my camera in to these little guys under my eye. These little bumpy things, whatever they are. So F you Dollar Tree a little bit because this sucks. And second of all, for all you guys that do shop at Dollar Tree or you even want to check out their, like, makeup or whatever, just for some cheap finds, just make sure you're looking at the ingredient list, that it won't be something that you have an allergic reaction with. Just be very careful with what you're putting on your skin. So, that's my update. Sorry for my language, because I just... Why? But anyway, so... Love you guys. I'm going to go try to fix my eye. <laughs>